Tired of your same old workout routine, it may be time to take your exercise to new heights. Oh boy, watch this. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel steps inside the aerial classroom. In the best moment, it's just euphoric. It's the scariest thing in the world, but you grow to love it. Spinning, whirling, flying, falling. That's all part of the curriculum at the aerial classroom. It's a school for the brave located in North Hills. It's a lot about challenging yourself and being able to do, you know, things you thought were never possible. Jessica Picos is director of the school and demonstrator in chief. Almost everyone here starts off learning the basics of something called tissue. You're basically learning, especially with the fabric, how to tie yourself in different knots. Students here come in all ages, sizes, and levels of fitness. What they have in common? A singular dream. To learn how to join the circus. What you see in this space, even in beginners, is nothing short of spectacular. This student, Alan, is mastering the sear wheel. It's all about balance. You don't need so much strength as you do need balance. And it's just a matter of practice and time and effort. Nine-year-old Morgan developing her chops on the hammock. What you really need to do is hold on really tight. It can be a little hard for people who don't have the upper arm strength. Uh, that might be me, but I gave it a try. Where am I grabbing? Ah! Oh my god. Do you have paramedics on speed dial? Ah! No, 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 that's enough. That's good. You're kidding. Success at last. Not bad for a first timer. That was fun. Now in every trick, newbies start low to the ground. The stronger they get, the higher they go. I am afraid of heights, like, it, but when you're up there, you're in a knot and you just have to trust it. For me, it's, it feels so much better being at the top. As soon as you learn one stunt, time to move on to the next. After Roxanne mastered stilt dancing and rope work, she put them together. Kind of feels like Peter Pan sometimes. <laughs> and I just don't want to stop. As scary as it may look, safety comes first, the key. Make the student aware of what is holding them up there. They're always taught to focus on what's holding me on so I don't fall. It's the best way I've ever found to, to get in shape. I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News. Well, for more information on the aerial classroom, check out CBSLA.com and click on Scene on TV. That was terribly exciting. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Paul. A hurricane. <laughs>